Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another What If video and this one was suggested by one of you guys in Discord so massive thank you to the user The Dark Satellite for sending this suggestion and that is what if the sun was replaced with Deneb and that's their personal favourite star. So without further ado let's find out what happens. So Deneb it's a blue star size wise I, f I ooh, does it engulf the orbit of Mercury I don't know if it does it's not the largest thing out there. But it is obviously a lot bigger and more luminous than the sun. So we're going to see what happens when Deneb becomes our sun. So where are we? Deneb. There it is. Replace. Oh, oh, okay. So it does. Ooh. Why is the orbit all corrupted? I, just, I use the replace button. That's a bit annoying. Hmm. Okay. So if we do that, it's just in gold. So how large is it? It is about an AU then. 0.44 AU. So it just about engulfs the stuff okay so let's um let's do that correctly so i guess we need to press the auto orbit button then because it didn't all the orbits should have in theory locked on there but that's a bit annoying but okay let's give it another go so as we can see a pretty large dangerous thing already so deneb there you go replace so there it is now we need to immediately press the auto orbit button so that's the best we can get without everything all flying everywhere so there you go uh, we're going to slow down time we're going to see what chaos unfolds. So we're going to know that Venus and Mercury are instantly out of the picture because orbits. Play. There you go. So, Earth. Currently in the absolute blast radius. And as we can see here, temperature is not looking good. Let's go straight to realistic lighting. Oh, yeah. It's smoking up already. It's not even warmed up yet and it's already losing material. Oh, yeah. So, Earth. We're having a few seconds here. Temperature already skyrocketing to the hundreds. So, there you go. The polar caps, I don't think they're going to last. So, let's uh, yeah, speed up time a little bit more. You can see the front face of Earth is already evaporated. Oh, my God. So, it's almost like a tidy locked effect. The face face in the sun is already increasing to just tremendous levels. Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. So, the cold side, 24 degrees. Pretty normal. But, but on the front face inside, 2,000 degrees already. And that's in minutes. Absolutely minutes. And the Earth... Already facing the full blunt force of Deneb. Not looking too great for the old Earth, is it? Now, as, it soon as, as soon as it starts rotating, that temperature is going to spread across the whole thing. 10,000 degrees on the front face now. Oh, my God. So, already, just absolutely, you can see it's almost spread it around. The whole thing has done a rotation now. 24 hours. And the whole object is infested with 10,000 degrees. So, nothing left already. And Earth is just a an absolute relic of its former self so not looking great at all earth same story with mars i'm guessing you're not out of the blast range it's only it's five six thousand so mars isn't as bad because it hasn't got that greenhouse effect there you go moving further out asteroid belt some of the asteroid belt they looks like they've been completely dissolved don't see series look at the material coming out of mars oh my gosh jupiter how are we doing over here two thousand degrees at jupiter so also a very hot world saturn 500 degrees, so Saturn's a little more tame at 500, but is increasing. So not looking good for the old Saturn system either, so there you go, realistic lighting. Uranus, I'm guessing you're at least 400 degrees. Let's have a look over here. Oh, it's increasing a little bit, okay. 100 degrees already. It's hottest point, because remember Uranus is on its side, isn't it? So, main face, can we go back to realistic please? That's annoying how that keeps doing that. There you go. Let's try and see if that works. So the front face of Uranus. Obviously, that's going to pick up the most of the heat. Dark side, not so much. Deneb looking pretty bright, though, because it is one of you. Oh, that auto changing. Oh, that's so annoying. Keep it on realistic, please. Oh, I oh, hate that button. That's really, really annoying. That changing without me telling it to. Right. Um, Neptune. What do we got next? Neptune, 75. Not too shabby. Very, very bright here, though, compared to what it would have been with the sun. Star looking pretty big as well. 182 on the front face inside. Let's uh, let things play out for a bit. Oh, Neptune. Oh, yeah. So over a longer period of time, Neptune also receiving the blunt force of Deneb. If we go on the Hatable Zone button here, I'm guessing we're all in the red, aren't we? Yeah, the whole solar system. Even Planet 9 over here. I'm guessing you're receiving light now. It is. I don't think we're going to see much temperature here. Minus 200. Oh, it's warming up slowly. Let's see if it actually does receive any temperature. It actually goes into the positive temperatures. But Planet 9 is pretty far away. Even Deneb, for instance, is is still a speck in the sky. Still pretty large size. I saw some something, some material just got sprayed around. So something's not uh, gone too great. How are we doing on the inner systems at Earth? I think Mars may have completely disintegrated. 
I think he has. Mars is gone, I think. Yeah, it has. The asteroid belt's all gone. Earth is the only thing left in the inner solar system now. Not good. What is left of Earth? So it has lost a bit of mass. 0.82 masses of Earth. It's hanging on in there, though, Earth. Ten, oh, no, it's, it's not 10,000 degrees. I'm guessing this atmosphere is completely gone. That's why. Look at the seasons. It still has the seasons. Look, the north and south pole keeps changing depending on what part of the year it is. So, look, you've got your north. That's the summer. And then that's the winter. So there's a little bit. You can see the Earth's uh, slightly um, tilted axis. It's giving it a little bit of a sun, summer and winter. So summer and winter still happens, even with a star like that. Mars is completely gone. The asteroid belt's all gone. Jupiter, next planet out. Saturn, how are we soon at Saturn? 1,000 degrees there. Got some of so Charla Co and Chiron. They're still going, those two little asteroid objects. Uranus, 840 degrees, but obviously it's on. It's basically a tidy lock well tilted on its side at this point. So only one side's facing hot, one side's cold. So you can see the cold side is in the minuses. So it's still very cold because of that. Uh, Neptune. Well, I say Uranus is tidy locked. It's just tilted on its side, so it gives you the effect of almost a tidy lock. Uh, Neptune. So, yeah, pretty hot here as well. 681 degrees. So, yeah. Pretty hot Neptune there. That is changing, though. Pluto. We haven't even looked at Pluto. 443. Don't know what's happened to its texture. That's a bit weird. It has got the Pluto texture. Strange. Oh, well, there you go. There's Pluto. Looks like it's just been cut. This colour's gone a bit weird. But yeah, there's Pluto. So, 451 at Pluto. Orcus, 500. Make, Make, 500. So, even the dwarf planets. Even Sedna, for instance. At Sedna's sort of distance. 370 at Sedna. So, the only thing out of range, really, is... There's far out. Sedna's caught on its closer point to the star. But even far out, 230. So, the only thing really surviving at the moment is Planet 9. And Planet 9 is receiving temperature as well. So, even the Wrath of Dene, Planet 9 has received some temperature. How hot can it go? Let's find out. This is the furthest thing here. We're going at maximum speed. 77 degrees at Planet 9. So if you're a moon of Planet 9, even you wouldn't be safe if you're a moon of Planet 9. Oh dear. 105 degrees hottest point of Planet 9. So for everyone else, if Planet 9 is receiving temperature, then you know you're in trouble. So remember Deneb, 196,000 luminosity of sun there. So it is a blue-white star. So 90 masses of sun, almost as AU in radius. So not looking good. Looks like the Earth is still, the Earth's still hanging on. It is losing mass, 0 0.8. Let's go over a long period of time. Does it actually hang on when it will eventually vaporise? Maximum speed. Looks like Earth is hanging on there, but yeah, all the other... Oh, no, it is... no, it's gone! Earth's gone! He's dead! Inner solar system disintegrated. Completely disintegrated. Oh. Maybe a bit of tidal force is going on there, ripping that Earth apart as well. But there you go. So the inner solar system gets eradicated by Deneb. So, not looking good for poor old uh, inner system. They're gone. Saturn and Jupiter, they'll hang on there. Yeah, they got enough mass to survive. If we blew up Deneb, though, that's a whole different story. For instance, we pretty much got to how everything would end up. So, you know, we're going to blow up Deneb. We're going to see what happens. So, destruct. Slow down time. Let's go down for a few minutes, days, hours. That works. We're going to destruct Deneb. We're going to see if anyone survives. I'm not expecting much, I have to say. I'm guessing probably Ju maybe Jupiter. Let's see how I think it survives. It's going to blow up most things here. Let's see what happens. Because event obviously a star like that would eventually explode. So there you go. So what exactly is going to survive in here then? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, even Jupiter didn't survive that. Oh, my God. Too close, probably. But yeah, Jupiter and Saturn are gone. Is that, is that going to destroy everybody? Maybe Planet Nine will survive at the edge. There you go. There's a few things that survive that. Neptune, far, far out. So, yeah, the last of the furthest out of the dwarf planet is just about able to survive. Planet 9 lost all of its hydrogen. All of its atmosphere has been ripped away. So, all it left is a rocky world. And Uranus and Neptune, I'm guessing it's the same story with you guys. Yet, yeah, they've they've had their atmospheres completely stripped. So, radius, there's your lineup. So, Neptune, Uranus. So, the only the outer gas giants and then one of the dwarf planets survived the blast. So, there you go. And, yeah, the atmospheres were stripped away. So, all it's left is their rocky cores. All the rocks inside them, so there you go. Not good. But there you are, everyone. That is what would happen if Deneb was our son. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe for more. Again, a massive thank you to the guy who suggested this system. Or, say, system, this simulation, I should say. The Dark Satellite. This idea. Massive thank you to them for their idea. 
And with that all said and done, everyone, make sure to subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And if you enjoyed this video, let's see if we can go for 150 likes on today's video, guys. It really, really helps that channel. It means the world. Really appreciate all of your support. And that will send down, everyone. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.